Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to download metadata and media after import. So if you've already imported your games and let's say you didn't have an internet connection at the time of downloading your games or maybe it just missed a couple of your games, we can actually go back and download all of that media, be it videos, box art, whatever you're looking for to download for your games. Now I'm in my Sega Genesis section and I haven't had an issue with this. This is working really well. I was able to import everything, it downloaded everything, and as we know, LaunchBox will automatically do it for us. And we can also set up an EMU Movies account if you'd like. But if I head over here to my GameCube section, as you can see, I've got a couple missing. Just two out of the games that I have imported right now. And uh, we can definitely see the names of these. So Alien Hominid and Mario Kart Double Dash. Now I've actually manually removed this box art here just to give you an idea of how to do it for single games, but we can also do a bulk download for something like my Sega Dreamcast section. So when I imported these, I actually didn't have an internet connection. And as you can see, I've got the games imported, but I don't have any box art. So we're going to start off with single games. We're going to go back over to our Nintendo GameCube section. And in order to do this, it's actually pretty easy. Per game, we're just going to right click. We're going to go to edit. Edit Metadata and Media. From here, we're going to find Images. And at the very bottom, Download Media. So this is actually really easy to do. We're going to use the LaunchBox Games Database. And I'm just going to leave everything checked here because I want as much information and artwork. So we'll choose Download. And we can actually see exactly what we've just downloaded. It went through 18 different images. So we've got our 3D boxes, we've got our 2D boxes, we've got banners, everything we need for this game. If I choose OK, we've got artwork. And that's basically it when using the built-in downloader. Now I've got another game here, and I'm going to go about this a little differently. So I'm not going to use the built-in downloader. We're manually going to add artwork for this game here, which is Mario Kart Double Dash. So we're going to right-click, we're going to go to Edit, Edit Metadata and Media. And from here, as you can see, we've got the correct name because I've already downloaded the metadata for this game on import. I just didn't get any of the artwork. Now, when we work with the bulk import, I'll show you that we don't have any metadata at all for those games. But the title here is going to be very important for the image. Now, if we were to go down to images right here and we want to add an image, we could actually have it named anything we want, but it needs to stay in the correct location. Now, this is on my desktop. And once I delete it after I clean off my desktop, this is going to be gone. So I've just added this. We can go to OK. And you'll see it's here. But there is a better way of going about this. So I'm actually going to clear that image out. So we've got the image cleared. And in order to correctly add that image to our LaunchBox folder, it needs to be named accordingly. Now there's two ways to go about this. We can go by the LaunchBox standards. And if we go to Edit, Edit Metadata and Media, you can see that this is going to be the proper name. Now you can always rename that image the same as your ROM, but my ROM is already named correctly. So what I'm going to do here is just copy this. It's going to make it easier just to rename that image for us. I'm going to minimize LaunchBox, and here's that image that we want to add. So the name on this is definitely not correct. Front cover .jpg. We'll go ahead and rename it we're going to give it that LaunchBox standard name. Quick side note here, if the name of the game has symbols in it, you will have to replace them with underscores, so just keep that in mind. So now what I'm going to do is add this to my correct image folder in my LaunchBox directory. So my LaunchBox directory is actually on a separate drive. We'll find it over here. I'm going to snap this over to the right hand side. We're going to go to Images. From here, we're working with a GameCube game, so I'm going to find Nintendo GameCube. And if we scroll down the list, you can see we've got a bunch of different sections here. We're looking for the box front, which is going to be right here. So I always prioritize North American images. So it's going to be in my North American folder here. We'll just double click. And if we scroll down the list, you can see that Mario Kart Double Dash isn't going to be in here. But we just renamed this one right on our desktop. We're going to place it in here. It's named accordingly. We'll go back to LaunchBox. Right click. Media, Refresh Selected Images, or you can press F5. And there it is. 
So we've now got artwork listed here and we manually added it to the correct folder with the correct name. So adding images per game can be a bit tedious, but there is a way to do a bulk edit. Like we saw, my Sega Dreamcast section doesn't have any images installed. And another thing you might notice is I don't have any metadata downloaded for these games. The only thing LaunchBox knows right now is these are Sega Dreamcast games and the ROM name. I don't have any other information downloaded for each of these games, but we can do a bulk edit. And to do this, we're gonna select all of our Dreamcast games. So we'll select the first game. We'll hold shift, go to the very last game. This is gonna select all of these games here. Now we can head up to Tools, Download, Update Metadata and Media for Selected Games. We'll choose OK. Next. We want to search for the game information from a local metadata database. We also want to make sure we have some images selected here. And when updating the metadata and media for already imported games, you're going to get a section that looks a bit different. We recommend choosing the second one here. Yes, but do not replace any existing fields or media. So we'll choose this one. Wizard is ready. It's going to download the metadata. And now it's going to download all of the artwork for us. So we can bulk edit and download all of that metadata and media after we've already imported the games. And there it is. So it's actually really simple when doing the bulk edit or individual games when using the built-in downloader, but it is a bit tedious to manually add your own images, and that's one of the big reasons LaunchBox is awesome. We've got that automatically built in for us. So there you have it. It's actually really simple to get that metadata and artwork downloaded after you've already imported your games, and that's gonna wrap it up for this one. We really appreciate you watching. Definitely keep an eye on the channel and the LaunchBox forum because we've got a lot of stuff on the way. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below, and like always, Thanks for watching.